D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? Casting for a film can make or break a movie, and superheroes are no exceptions. Good casting means being able to bring the character from the page to the screen, and bad casting can mean sudden death. Now, the DCEU has had struggles in the past with casting, but it's also had great success. Now, from the get-go, the DCEU has had some problems with its casting, whether it's fans hating the fact that they race bent some characters, or the fact that they just didn't like who they cast. There's a list of characters that the DCEU got right, and a couple they didn't. Keep in mind, this isn't necessarily about an actor's talent, just how they portray the character. Plus, it's just my opinion. J.K. Simmons. We haven't seen much of J.K. Simmons's Commissioner James Gordon, but what we have seen has made us want more. Simmons appears as Jim Gordon for a few minutes in Justice League, and from the facial hair to the coordination with Batman, Simmons seems to have nailed the role. Of course, this comes as no surprise to fans of the actor. Simmons was amazing in Whiplash, and may have been his best comic book casting. Well, besides his stint as J. Jonah Jameson in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. With his introduction to the DCEU, we are ready to see him in the solo Batman flick. Viola Davis. Viola Davis is killing it on the small and big screen. So, of course, putting her in a superhero movie would be a good choice. But to have her play Amanda Waller made that even better. Her portrayal of the character might be the most faithful adaptation to come out of the DCEU. She was a lighthouse in the mess that Suicide Squad was. Davis is commanding as Waller, striking fear into the hearts of everyone around her. Her maniacal yet calculating fight for good makes her a threat to morals, but not to humanity. And if Suicide Squad 2 knows what's good for it, Amanda Waller will be front and center. Ben Affleck Ben Affleck's time as the Dark Knight may be running out. This is, of course, his own decision. But, at the very least, we got two movies where Ben Affleck played both a decent Batman and a really great Bruce Wayne. In Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, we're introduced to a Bruce who I think is better than his Batman. And it makes me really hate the fact that Affleck might be on his way out. Batman actors have long struggled to strike a balance between a great Bruce Wayne and a great Batman, with some coming up short on both. In a post-Nolan Batman universe, I believe this is possibly the best we could have hope for. Margot Robbie As one of the shining stars of Suicide Squad, Margot Robbie successfully brought Harley Quinn to life, which is something fans have long waited for in the DC live-action films. While the Joker and Harley Quinn relationship wasn't portrayed as it should be, it added a bit of emotional depth that we can only hope is explored in further movies. It looks like Margot Robbie will be suiting up for the role for many years to come. What with the Joker, Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn solo film, and Gotham City Sirens, all rumored to be coming somewhere down the line. As far as picture-perfect casting goes, Margot Robbie knocked it out of the park. Michael Shannon. While Man of Steel may not be perfect, it did however succeed in building and developed threatening villain in the form of Michael Shannon's General Zod. From his first scenes leading up to the fall of Krypton to his brutal fight with Superman in Metropolis, Shannon proved Zod to be even more of a monster than we'd imagine. Not only was the character well-rounded, Shannon's portrayal was fantastic. Gal Gadot. In early 2017, Gal Gadot won the hearts and minds of people around the world with her incredible portrayal as Wonder Woman. After a handful of failed attempts to bring the character to the big screen, Gadot brought the thunder and grace to Diana of the Mascara. What could have been a crazy chick flick with swords became a culturally relevant and powerful statement, in addition to being a pretty wonderful superhero movie. This was, of course, with the help of Gadot's performance as Diana. As the DCEU moves forward, we can't help but hope that Gal Gadot is at the center of all of it. What did you think of my list? Is there any that you agree with? Any that you disagree with? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, click the geek what icon and subscribe.